What's happening in BC? BC has the highest poverty rate in Canada and no poverty reduction plan to tackle it. So we're here to say where is BC's poverty reduction plan? We've heard a lot, we're hearing a lot about government spending in this election debate and discourse, government spending. What we're not hearing is that government spending is an investment, it's a long-term investment in British Columbians. All those social supports, public goods that government spending can provide, that is a long-term investment. That gives people the lives they need. It allows us to build our communities. It builds economic productivity, if you need that economic argument in there as well. A poverty reduction plan makes moral sense and economic sense. And we're failing British Columbians around the province by not tackling poverty directly. We are now one of only two places across Canada that has no plan. The truth is, the fact is that most poor people are working, they have a job, and they're still not able to lift themselves above the poverty line. And those who are on welfare and disability are working hard just to survive on a totally, completely inadequate rates. People are really struggling in this province and we need some real, real strong action. What we need to address this crisis is a poverty reduction plan. And what that would include is Raising people's incomes, just putting a little bit more money in people's pockets, raising welfare rates, raising the minimum wage, but that's only a small part of it. It's those other public goods that we all believe in. It's social housing. We need to build more social housing. Yeah. It's universal childcare. We need the $10 a day childcare plan. It's giving people the opportunities in education. It's become a totally unfair education system. So invest in training and education and invest in healthcare. Costing us billions in this province. Eight to nine billion dollars per year we're spending on healthcare costs and all the other costs that add up when you keep people in poverty, when you keep people hungry and malnourished around the province. Right. Eight to nine billion dollars. If we had a poverty reduction plan with everything I just talked about, that's only half that. Three to four billion dollars per year for that. Nice. So doing something about poverty costs half of doing nothing about it. We're paying billions right now, so it just makes sense to do this thing up front. So thank you so much for coming out today to raise your voices, to make some noise, to end poverty in BC. As you know, we're not hearing anything like that from the political parties right now. We're not seeing the kind of strong leadership that we want to see. British Columbians want it. You want it. Eight out of ten people around the province want it. Who's going to step up from the political parties? Right. Who's going to take political leadership on this? In the next... I'd like to invite uh, yep. a couple of other speakers to come up. Um, we have...